Good morning everyone. This morning I'd like to look at um, ways in which you can edit links that are coming into a Revit drawing without having to open a second instance of Revit. Usually when we have our links that are being brought into Revit we can't just go file open and open the drawing in the same instance. Now I did not know that this was possible and I came across it when I was researching how to change a family from a uh, face based or from a ceiling based to a face based family and I came across the instruction to go to where the Revit links are listed in the project browser as you can see here and by reading the instructions I came to the conclusion that there's a command that I wasn't aware of that you can open and unload a link within Revit. So here is the architectural and it's important to notice that it's the architectural discipline the method would be to right click and then to open and unload that file and what it does is it unloads the link in this project and opens the link in the same instance of Revit which means you are now able to edit the link in one interface and we'll see what that looks like when we have it open alright so here we've got the link open and we can see once again that there are some um, in this there are some uh, this is the equivalent uh, second tier model and then there are some third tier models that are linked in here as well so let's open one of them and then we can see that we can have multiple uh, files open when we open and unload them to ultimately edit them All right, so here we can see we've got it open. Um, what this is, is a model that just represents one floor of the building, but it contains a sort of typical structure inside, and one is then able to um, add some modifications per floor where, where this is linked in. But as you can see, there are three models open now, um, two tier uh, one models, and then a tier two model, and then ultimately if one wants to go and open up the 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 typical uh, tier 3 file that is linked in there's another link that one can open and unload so if you just need to delve into one uh, tier it might be interesting or, or worthwhile to open and unload but uh, you can think for yourself now it's going to start taking up RAM and computer resources if you just keep on opening files it makes it complex and so forth so the, you know it's one of those things that you've got to decide on. Do you want to just open the file that's linked in or do you want to f um, go down the rabbit hole, uh, hole all the way down to the um, to the tier 3 or tier 4 files? Um, but the ability is there to do that and so it's a very useful method at least and something that I was not aware of. And then one would just, uh, to get this back, uh, one would obviously save and synchronize. Um, I haven't made any changes but... Um, the method will stay the same. So once one brings it in here, you can see that this one is unloaded and one can just go and reload this. Yeah, we can see it's even got the nested typical office uh, mezzanine one there and we reload this and then it will um, display again. You can see it's missing over there. It will show up in a moment once it's loaded. There you can see it's now been loaded in. And again, I haven't really made any changes to this, so I'm just going to not save the project and relinquish. And then we'll see that we'll just reload that into the original project again. Now, an interesting ha thing happens um, when, when you work with BIM 360, and these projects are based on BIM 360, then 
if you have the ability, let's suppose you're a BIM manager or somebody that is not constrained only to one discipline, then you might want to edit the structural file that comes in or the mechanical files that come in. And here it is important to realize how BIM 360 is structured and how it's meant to be used. So as you can see, we've got our design collaboration uh, silos over here. For those that of you that don't know, we've got this technology called uh, BIM 360 um, uh, design collaboration. It's built around the UK standard and basically what it says is that um, for somebody else to have a file, let's suppose I'm in the architectural silo over here. I've got my architectural files here. There's the structural file. This is the structural silo. They've got their structural files. And how it works is, if a structural model is ready to be shared with all the other disciplines, in this case the architectural discipline, the BIM manager from the structural discipline will share that file. It's called a package. That package is then shared with the rest of the team. And after that, the BIM manager from the architectural silo, or the architectural team, will look at that file and see if they want to accept it. And if they do want to accept it, then they consume that package. And then it goes and sits in a subfolder called consume within a team. And there we can see the structural files that have been shared with them. So when you link files in, they go and sit in this consumed folder. Sometimes you'll find that it's easier um, to sometimes give access across um, silos. Of course, that is uh, risky, but if you trust the other side, then that's they're quite welcome to do that. I wouldn't vertically integrate models. That creates all sorts of problems with selecting elements, but you can give access but even if you give access the very fact that this file sits in a different silo precludes you from opening and editing that file from within your interface and you'll see that in a moment when you have a look at the structural link This is not something that you will be able to. That one is. Okay, let's just go to this one over here. Um, this has the structural model linked in, but just to show you that you can't link the structural, you can't open and load the structural model because it's sitting in a different silo. So that's just something to take into account. And if, if you do have access to that folder and you want to change a link that is done at risk like that and not managed through BIM 360 design, then or design collaboration, then you, then you have to open it in a second instance of Revit. Well, I hope I've opened or introduced you to something new that you might not have known within Revit. It was new to me, and so I thought, well, you know, it's not something that's, that's commonly available. Um, in the textbooks and some of them anyway but uh, it's a very useful technique just to unload open and unload a link from within your drawing of course this is a big model on smaller models it becomes more useful um, but I hope you enjoy uh, or find it useful and until next time enjoy Revit <laughs>